This video first surfaced in early 2024 and went viral because this attractive young lady with all these seemingly good financial qualities and looks but no cooking skills and lack of true femininity wondered why she ain't married with five kids yet. It's still being talked about because so many single, independent, strong career women with similar finances can relate to it. As a result, a local Dallas radio station just opened up their lines for listeners to call in about this topic. I'll replay the original clip of that young lady and I'll come back to explain why the very things men find most appealing in women is what most modern women reject. Most people say, oh, I don't give people a chance. Yes, I do. I have boundaries though. And I don't let people fuck me over, I'm gonna say more than three times, because I give chances. I even give you a second chance. But it's so easy for me to just walk the fuck out once you start playing with me. But I still don't understand how I'm still single. No boss. <laughs> now, I don't want to dive too deeply into every detail about her. I can see she's got attractive qualities a lot of men like, so that's not the problem. Of course, the big arm and neck tattoos will turn off some guys, though. It's her right to have those tattoos, but realize that some guys will not take her serious. But that's not the big problem. That's not the main point. Why is it that a very attractive woman with a high credit score getting her own house is still unmarried? She goes on to mention she could be dominant at times masculine perhaps and is not a cook but can learn right there ladies is the problem come closer to your phone and listen <laughs> it is with great regret that i must inform you that if you reached your 20s your mid-20s and never got schooled on how to please a man with feminine charm cooking skills and the ability to manage the household it will take the rest of your life to undo the long-term propaganda you were raised to believe about the strong, independent, modern career woman. That's not to say some guys won't marry you, but again, you've been taught to hate the things that attract masculine men and to brag about things that men bring to the table. <laughs> what the hell? Do you not see the conflict of gender interests here? For many, many, many years, old school women taught daughters that a way to a man's heart is through his what? Say it with me, class, through his stomach. So simple, so elegant. Yet, what have modern women done with that? They spit on that gem. They say things like, those old school women who were slaves to their husbands. I want none of that. <laughs> and yet y'all turn around and wonder why y'all ain't married. <laughs> Duh. Clearly, those old school women know something you don't. Another thing they used to do was to groom their daughters on the etiquette of being feminine, graceful, well-styled, to present themselves to the kinds of men they want, and to draw out his masculinity by subtle flirting and other genuine techniques. But the leaders of the modern women's movement rejected that femininity, arguing that women must be equal to men in order to attract men. <laughs> What? Oh boy. They never explain what quote unquote equal means. No two humans are equal. Getting certain rights to navigate life is not the same as being equal. This is where the confusion comes in. Men are men for a reason, and women are women for a reason. Both different, but they complement each other to build a family. Now, some women say, because of the economy and inflation, we can't have a one income earning husband anymore. Both need to work and both need to share the domestic work and the man still has to do all the outside work, fill my gas tank, be traditional. <laughs> no ladies, no. If you wanna use inflation as your deceptive excuse to have a career to reject cooking and cleaning, then men have the right to use the same inflation excuse to say it's cheaper to stay single as there is no incentive to get married. This is already happening in China right now. There are cities in the U.S. where you can move to and thrive with an 80K a year husband, by the way. But because of lifestyle choices, y'all don't want to move to a small town. <laughs> in addition to being physically attractive, men by nature are turned on by women who can cook and clean and have the house in a good shape. If there are kids, then well-mannered kids are also very impressive to men. It's been this way for thousands of years. Ladies, 
you might change, but men don't. While you're becoming breadwinners like men, you have tossed aside cooking, cleaning, and directly raising children, opting for childcare, nannies, and maids. Then some of y'all wonder why your men run off with that nanny who cooks, cleans, and raises the man's kids. <laughs> You mistakenly assume men only care about looks while you reject the other things I just listed. No one says you have to cook every day. Some men have varying needs where it could be just Sundays and holidays. Why would a guy making 200K a year want to marry someone to share cooking and cleaning duties with and she's making 70 to 90K a year yet he's paying all the bills because she insists they're both equal partners. These are strange new things modern women have come up with that might make sense to them, but makes absolutely no sense to smart gentlemen. Nonetheless, this is the source of the problem, ladies. This is why this lady, this attractive lady in this video, is not married. The basic wife package is missing the key components a man wants, and it's likely too late to learn things that women used to be raised to know. If you disagree, comment below. Until more modern women figure this out, the apocalypse of good men continues.